I visited the junk man a couple days ago and got most of this pile of parts here, except it was all together before. I got the lower half of a outboard motor here, pieces there and all kinds of other stuff is there. And then I got another one over there. That one's a 25 horsepower, so I just put it aside. I'm not messing with it right now. It did not come with a propeller, but I also got a two and a half horsepower one that came with a propeller and it came with the broken motor, which is in pieces over there. Basically, I undid every screw in the whole thing and took out 90% of the parts. And I'm using this motor to make it work electrical style. It wasn't really long enough to reach my boat down into the water deep enough to, you know, stay under the water. I don't want to just be pushing bubbles. So, I made this here extension. got one of these. What is this thing? Looks important. So the drive shaft fits down through there and I got my holes drilled to attach it to the top and the bottom. Anyway, I'm just gonna put this sucker together and you'll see. This is the drive shaft that came with the uh, outboard. It's got nice little spline thingies to attach to a gear down there. But it wasn't long enough. So I took a piece of pipe and stuck it on with some stuff between so it would stay centered. And then drilled a couple holes through and I had this box of cotter pins. Whoops. Cotter pins? Wait, I don't know what those are called. Anyway, those thingies. So I stuck a couple of those in there and then I fiberglassed this whole thing because this part's stainless but this part obviously will rust. But not now. Anyway. Oh, I previously used a file on this to get this down to the right size to fit inside this pipe just by running the motor with a file against it kind of like a lathe somewhere around here I've got a bolt that fits that right here. I made some custom holes to mount the motor to figure out where to put the holes I took a piece of paper on top of the motor and poked holes where the where the motor has mounting holes. And then I held the piece of paper over the, uh, the thing I need to drill holes into and just kept moving it around until I got all, all four holes over spots that were strong enough. I need to send this piece over to paint. I've got this guy who's, who's really got his stuff together with the paint. All right, I'm gonna send it over to him now. Oh uh, yeah, I can probably have that to you in about a week and a half. Can you do it any faster? Um, well yeah, how about five minutes? You like red? Me too, cool. Yeah, I got uh, two colors today, red and other red. They both come from the same can, so it doesn't really matter which one you pick. And out here we got the speed dryer, you know, hold it out in the sun, kind of high tech. Yeah, we're going to go with the auto dryer now. It's a coconut and a machete. Looks good. Well, now I'm wondering if I should clean the whole thing and paint the whole thing. Ah, I think that's a job for another day though. Oh, waiting for paint to dry is boring. It's lunchtime. Chomp, 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 chomp. Man, that pink guy really knows his stuff. Oh man, that looks good. Can't wait to test it. I better fill the uh, gear case with oil before I forget to do that later. Oh, well, that's looking pretty good. Uh, I think I have just enough sun for a little test. My boat runs on solar power. There's no batteries on it yet. So whatever I get is what I get. Oh, that 
some nice stuff. And that's on low power right now. It'll go about four times that strong. But I don't want to do that tied to the dock. 